Yoshi and enjoys. I was like, what? And then the Yoshi did a Well, I don't know. I feel like there's a self-loathing streak that is inherent to all Yoshi players. But as we're going to see, we'll see if that self-loathing manifests as they now can beat a uh, an effigy of themselves. I, I, I feel like Yoshi is the one character that can actually keep up with Yoshi in disadvantage. Right? Because when it comes to challenging double jump, nobody quite has that height and maneuverability quite Ironic like Yoshi. Ironically, if not, though, because Yoshi has double jump armor, he has neutral air, Yoshi has to respect Yoshi space uh, because Yoshi has really good advantage and the Yoshi player knows the potential of the other Yoshi's disadvantage state. Um, it's also worth noting that considering the fact that Suarez is out on Long Island, he has tons of matchup experience playing against Raptor who is in my opinion one of the best Yoshi players at the Ditto specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Suarez is just coming into this with so, so much experience. Okay, right now just sitting so patiently. is going to be waiting for Miles to press that first button, but nobody wants to commit to the bit. Wow. And that's going to be Miles finding the first stock off of a ledge guard, which is not often how you see Yoshi Tittos, like in the Yoshi Tittos, how stocks are taken. Uh, Randy up smashes. Yeah, that's, that's fair game. I just feel like both of them have such good out of shield to be able to punish the other, so nobody is like too willing to, to, to commit to any... Yeah, what is happening? What is yeah, so ditto? you were like, oh, Yoshi can keep up with Yoshi. No, Yoshi can keep up with Yoshi while he's in disadvantage and the other Yoshi is also in disadvantage. It becomes a real clown fiesta real quick. <laughs> Try to break him. Yeah. This, I, love, I love how quickly like this is a downward spiral. Um, wow. Oh, Swag is good. I just tried to find a way to be able to get out of this corner. Amazing punish on reaction for Miles. Could be able to find a follow up and a bit of damage to boot uh, as well. Yeah, it is worth sort of dwelling on the sort of ethos of both these players. Miles is more of a punish focused uh, player, whereas Suarez is more about the mix ups and the neutral game. So, <laughs> as it stands, that was so wow. good right there. An amazing confirm. Swarish tries to, well, excuse me, Miles tries to throw out uh, the, I guess, just a bit of last second coverage. But this, like, Swarish seems like he's just not able to get as much out of every hit like Miles is. Yeah, and he's, he's Miles, like, showed him how good that up tilt is. <laughs> he's trying to do it himself. What oh, is yeah. happening? They oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. This is like, I can't believe they're jumping out of shield. Come on. Their, their neutral options are identical. They both press four retreating forwarders and keep dashing and shielding into one another. It is worth noting this? the fact that I believe that was Miles who did run up grab. Because, like, yeah, run up shield is a powerful option as Yoshi. Uh, it's time to punish on that get up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, like, run up shield is a really good option against Yoshi because of how mediocre his grab is. Yeah. Mediocre at best, really. Uh, but, like, Miles knows. That still, if you are able to get the other player to be scared of shielding, that's when your options really open up. Oh. Yeah, as soon as you make him uncomfortable, that's when he can start pressing buttons. Swarish tries to get a bit of tricky. <laughs> God, they just keep doing it over and over. Oh, and geez. It, again, he's just such confident him. grabs. Yeah, he scared yeah. Swarish into shielding, but honestly, I love the idea. I love the idea, but Miles is just so comfortable and ready for that follow up. I cannot believe the air dodge right there. Got away with murder. And now Miles, that was a misinput, gives him away all of the advantage. Look at the way that Swarish is just pressuring with his positioning. Tries to bait Miles into pressing a button that he really, really shouldn't be in this position. But they're both just pressing so safely on one another's shields. Oh man, both these guys deep in the red. That's going to be another egg lay. And <laughs> 120% for both players. Texit, so important, somehow gets away with not getting killed. What is happening? So, the way that Suarez is just pressuring with positioning, so similar to like how Pac-Man just starts dashing at your shield and does nothing. Both of them have so many grab callouts, and that Dao B is going to be able to connect and win that game for Suarez. And what really seemed like would have been Miles' game. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the matchup is that so much of it comes down to how you can kill. Yep. And in the end there, Miles got too hungry. He wanted to go all the way up there and meet Suarez in the blast yep. zone, but uh, that Dao B has a... It's basically just, uh, it's a big butt, you know what I mean? It's like, you wanted uh, this, but it's, the, it's a joke, it's a pun, I'm sorry, I'll leave. And, uh, <laughs> you tried, it was great. Yeah, it was great. You I want love the camera I, back to me yeah, to watch yeah, me I love, I love the fact that we just cut the cameras, though, just to, just to let you simulate it for a little bit longer. Also, there's also, like, this idea of, like, when you... 
When you're always trying to punish where the opponent is going, something as simple as throwing in a stall and fall can really catch an opponent with it, right? Because they're usually thinking, oh, I'm going to undo shoot, hit you a little bit lower, and then suddenly they're above you and killing you. Absolutely. Yoshi has so many stalling options available between the down B, between the egg, uh, and oh, there's also the displacement in this air. You see them doing these B reverse and wave bounce egg lays all the time. It can be really tricky, despite Ari Yoshi's aerial mobility, for Yoshi to nail down Yoshi. I, I really like all these beauty ways neutral bees from Swagas. It seems like he always has the right idea, but the drift in the position of it has just always been slightly off. Amazing DI on the back hit of up smash. All right, so I think it's actually pretty funny that Suarez, the way he's dealing with Miles holding shield, is to go for a uh, great job with the chase there, but is to go for Eglis, whereas Miles is throwing out the actual grab. Well, Miles maybe getting a little bit greedy with that landing, but Suarez was just not ready for that impact uh, projectile hitbox. Just coming out there, Suarez, that's just going to be a clean up tilt into up air. Bread and butter, you, you got to hit those. Yeah, no, it's specifically the back hit of up tilt, by the way, that makes that move so consistent. It's the later hit, it's weaker, and the fact it's later means that you can more... Okay, the SDI from Miles. I wanted to address it earlier. Yep. His SDI is insane. And they're... Honestly, you don't get to see it really uh, come into play unless he's playing against a Bayo or a Yoshi. SDI and Yoshi Dano is just so, so important. Because you're not only able to minimize so much damage, you're also able to get out and punish the end lag that Yoshi is in. Um, and if Miles can invalidate that through Swagus, that is one approach option gone. Oh my. I don't, that second forward and a little bit questionable, but in the end catches him on the ground regardless. Miles with this stock lead, and it's a pretty healthy stock lead. We've seen that kind of both these players can struggle to find the kills when the time really calls for it. And Miles aware of that with the way he's playing, making sure to stay out of those kill options. Miles is just dashing and shielding, and honestly, what's the worst that can happen? Get it. What? That was he's so, so good. clean. He was so clean. Yeah. I was dragged down back to up tilt up him. Yep, missing that tech was absolutely the ender for Miles. Now he has to fight with even stocks. He, I think he really wanted to get more mileage out of that lead, but nope, not going to be the case. Swallows is also shielding in really good positions under Yoshi down. Be always just a really like, hey, this is not where the shield grid can actually commence. So I can just use this as an opening uh, as my, you know, out of shield option, right? So it's a little bit risky, but he is confident enough in that situation to still make it out. The landings right now. This is we've seen before that when they try to land, that's when things can really go downhill. But the, 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 the wiggle crouch. He's just waiting. Miles is just using that as as a way to consistently wait and force Warriors to be able to come into an option preemptively. Tries to lead a tech goal out. Is not going to be able to find it. That is not going to be the up tilt into the upper quite yet. Warriors retreating to safety. Oh yeah, my. He, he didn't get the late hit of it. That's why it didn't work. And this time around, he's nearing in his face. Oh this my. is so risky. Both of these players understand what they're facing down. And Swallow's opting to go to ledge there was so smart. Just not, you know, didn't want to risk getting juggled without a double jump. Oh my. Is exactly. that going to be it? This could possibly be it, but a wave dash away, and the neutral are putting him off stage. But it's not quite. Yoshi's no. acceleration good enough, but not good enough to avoid landing right into that uphill. Miles just ready for an understanding that Swallow's doesn't have that many recovery options from that point. Yeah, I'm not actually sure the exact uh, overall, like, lifetime matchup between these two, what the score is. But as it just seems, feels so neck and neck, every single yeah. game is lasted. Are we in best three out of five or best two out of three right now? Uh, uh, I think we might be best two out of three because this is losers quarters, right? Uh, I, I believe so. Wait, if this is losers quarters, then oh, this it, is, yeah, should this is be, losers it should be best three so. out of five. Okay. Yeah. It so. seems like this is the kind of a matchup where, and again, I'm not a Yoshi player, but it seems like they're both just really, really shutting down a lot of the options on one another, right? Because it seems like Yoshi can't even really juggle that much until one of them exhausts that double jump, and they're holding on to it for daily life. Yeah, and that uh, that often means that instead they're picking Yoshi's other defensive options when he gets hit. Things like air dodge, things like neutral air. And for the most part, you know, Yoshi has very his traction, he's very slippery, meaning that a lot of the times if Yoshi hits another Yoshi yeah. on shield, he's pushed away too far. And oh. Miles had the right idea. He was trying to drift back, was anticipating maybe a little bit more of a hold in from the swallows, but he was just able to land onto the platform safely. Big punish, drag down back here into F Smash. Really looked like it was true because Miles is just not in a position to do anything but air dodge from him. 
Yeah, and also that sort of thing where maybe just take the hit, you know? You do have a percent lead, and maybe air dodging at that point is a, even more risky. Ooh. Oh, but Swell is just able to, once again, just use the most out of his air speed. Miles committing a little bit too much and not really focusing on where Swell was going in that moment. Wow, the, you saw the forward air, the far forward air coming through, and in the end, that's going to be Miles finding another up smash. That's something that's so consistently he's been getting stocks with, especially on the earlier side of things. Oh, another one of those late hits. Swallows has the right idea, but Miles is just like spaced just close enough uh, for them to be able to get away with options like that. Swallows has been getting his shield hit so much by Miles, and it seems like Miles has always been punishing the option after. Another thing to note is the fact that Miles, he's changing it up. Earlier on, we saw lots of forwarders. Like, lots of those, like, back airs, the later moves, whereas now we're seeing him throw out more neutral airs. These moves that can stuff out Suarez before he can even throw out whatever move he's trying to do. The stars, they're saving That was a really good wait on a grab for the Miles as well. I believe he wants to go for, like, a pivot grab there, um, and it still would have been active enough to get that. Catching that jump in. Miles is just holding onto the stock so well. I love the high recovery so that Swagas doesn't put himself into a ledge trap. That back air is supposed to be a kill move, but Miles is still alive. Great job right there. Breaking the armor sent Yoshi nowhere, meaning he could follow it up with another up air to close out the actual mm -hmm. stock. That's going to be a bit of stage control for Miles once again. How does Swagas choose to get back? He tries to go through all these mix-ups. Miles just now ready for it, and now he finds his way back on. But for how long will it last? Not long at all. Miles here is just doing such a good job of maintaining this lead. Earlier on, we saw that, you know, he would get a stock lead, but wouldn't really be able to do that much. But this time around, oh, maybe I speak too soon because of the... It, this is the thing, like, Yoshi, normally the, when you see Yoshi start something, you're like, oh, Yoshi can do so much. But against another Yoshi, it can get cut short so quickly. And now we're seeing the mix-up uh, from Swallows. He's starting to jump in with a lot of falling foilers instead of always going for neutral B. And as a result, it's catching Miles um, out of shield more often than not. Oh my. Great chase, great awareness from Swagas. Going to be putting Miles into a nasty position and finds, scouts out that tech roll in and gets that kill. Yeah, that grounded down B, actually surprisingly quick option. And Miles, he had, he had a full stock lead. And all of a sudden, that's... This is a close, close look, how game. Pace, look at that spacing from Swagas just outside of the hitbox. Still found that grab. That's one back kill. That's two back kills. Putting Miles into the corner, but fights his way out nonetheless. You see that so much of this matchup has to do with overextending. Knowing exactly when you need to just look, take your foot off the gas at the exact moment. Miles getting that turned around on him. Once again, he had the ledge trap, but now, oh, Suarez is able to keep him off of him. And on 117%, this could be death. There it is. What a, that's. Okay, so just so you know, Yoshi forward smash is active for a single frame. That the timing of that is so strict to actually be able to catch that down B, and that's something that he hadn't shown throughout the entirety of the set. I, there were definitely points where Suarez was down being to the legend. You know, he was kind of letting him do it. That's because he was saving it for the most crucial moment of all. We're going to be moving on into game uh, four between these yeah. two. So it seems like it is going to be justified. Yeah. Uh, did they go back to the stage? Small battlefield still? Uh, it seems like it, yeah. They okay. just immediately selected it. I'm trying to, like, Swallow seems to really be turning up uh, the gas at that point. And what I really like that he was doing his mix ups up from his jump and started getting so, so good. And he was catching a lot of Miles' uh, landings in disadvantage. But with a fresh new game, you know, Miles is just going to be able to go into this one with a clean slate. Yeah, that's something with at these lower percents. Yoshi can use the down B, uh, sorry, the, the jump into down B. He breaks the armor, or he breaks the hit with the armor, and then is able to counterattack. But Yoshi's aerial drift means that the counterattack hit might not land. Yeah. Well, Miles looking, at, looking for a way to be able to catch one of Swoilies' landings. No punish on the get-up attack, though. That was Swoilies' big in. Doesn't find it. Gets a... Oh, the spacing right now. This is what, like, the, the fact that Suarez is giving him just as much space as he needs to feel like he can throw out one of those, de, you know, defensive options, but not actually give him the chance to. The neutral game right now for Suarez is looking so good. Such right an aggressive option for Miles, too, just dashing up and jabbing so safe. I don't even believe Suarez would have had, like, a proper out of shield punish. Well, uh, to actually, run up and jab is kind of risky, because if the opponent does, oh, that was a kill. Wow. I'm actually surprised that that did the deed, but that's going to be Miles with, once again, a stock lead. Going to be finding that first up here. Miles looking for a way to scout out. Swallows' landing is not going to be able to find it yet. 
tries to go through that upbeat through coverage and Miles buffered that option. So he needed that egg to be able to lock Swarius into shield so that he would have enough time to be able to roll in. But he didn't get it out there and Swarius just found that kill as a result. Yeah, and that's actually the second time we saw that down B work like that. Oh, and once more we're into the situation where they're completely neck and neck in percent. I cannot believe he went for that. He neutral it on his shield. but the Every thing is single time that Miles has been neutral alert, he always follows it up with an up tilt. Suarez has been trying to just sit there a little bit longer and wait, but now Miles is just catching and being a little bit too defensive, maybe sitting a little bit too comfortably in shield. That was just a really good mix-up. He extends Ooh. the hitbox by connecting on the actual egg, and then that's enough to deal Suarez a finishing blow for that stock, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, look at this. Miles... 119% he does have to be scared of some of Suarez's options. But Love for the that most dash part, back. But that just like that, Suarez just needs one kill confirm to be able to close out that stock. He hasn't missed a single one of those today. The up tilt from Yoshi, it's, it's so good against Yoshi. Yeah, just, just have him lick back and forth. I think it's also funny that when this set started, you we were commenting like, oh, they're just doing the same moves at the same time. And you see that their play styles over the course of this best 3 out of 5 set have totally diverged. They've started with basic Yoshi flowchart, and then they've sort of specialized and gone on their own ways, right? So Miles just looking for that way to be able to get back onto the stage, pressing one too many buttons. Swirl is just sitting patiently in shield, waiting for those to happen. Look at all of those spot dodges from Miles. He keeps on getting away with this. Well, the thing is that that spot dodge in particular, when you see a Yoshi coming at you with that egg leg, <gasps> Yoshi's roll is really bad. <gasps> is that going to be it? Yes, it is. What an amazing snipe and follow from Suarez. Miles going to be taken to a game five in what really looked like was going to be his own set. Yeah, and look at the expression on his face. He's not be like beating himself up, but he's not happy about having to play a fifth game of Yoshi Nidos. <laughs> That's the expression it is. It's just like, I have to do another one of these. Listen, okay. you, ever, you ever see a nest that'll happen? What? You ever, you ever seen a Nestido? Oh, I love Nestidos. I think they're hilarious. I think Nestidos, Nestidos are completely on the opposite spectrum, whereas they just blow each other up. Whereas this feels like they're sort of going through a lot of individual mutual wins, a lot of spacing, and a lot of like meta development between the two. So you're starting to see Swagas really diversify his jump ins. The way that Miles also has just been trying to get off the ledge, he needs to be able to adapt a little bit sooner um, and, and adjust that spacing on upbeat. Yeah, I also, I have a personal theory about people who counterpick this particular track, it's they want to inspire fear in their opponent. I, it's worth noting, Leon counterpicks this track, I believe. So, maybe Miles wants to throw, you know, I, I, okay, maybe I'm over-speculating here, but I, fine, I'm going to do it. He's trying to maybe be more aggressive in this game, try to go for those harder hits and maybe even harder reads. Look at those follow-ups from Squalus again. Just able to optimize all of that damage output. Miles getting that chase, but no punish on the landing because once again, Yoshi's air speed so much better than that ground speed. So by the time that Miles positioned himself for up smash, Swarius was completely far away from him. Yeah, Miles managed to take the stock right there. But it's worth noting that you remember when Suarez got the up air, broke his armor, and immediately followed up with the second up air. Yeah. That shows matchup experience that Miles wasn't actually prepared uh, to capitalize on just a little while ago. He ended up getting the stock soon thereafter, but yeah. nonetheless, there is a maybe perhaps a deeper pool of information that Suarez can build upon. And when you go into a best three out of five, when you go to a game five, a best three out of five, that sort of thing can work out really well for you. Miles trying to go through the juggle there, but Suarez is just able to air dodge really, really safely out of disadvantage. Finds that drag down, but no punish, no attempt to jab lock, and no attempt to be able to just throw out a down smash there either. Suarez maybe just tried to anticipate the attack in place, but none of that is going to matter because, you know, a down B is still going to be able to close it off. Okay, Miles respecting the fact that that egg did not really let him punish the re-grab. Instead tries to punish the follow-up option, but he did it again! He has no jump! He has no jump, but the egg save him! Miles is just that confident in the timing of it. It's kind of like with the punishing a teleport, right? Because even if the window isn't that big, there's a huge audio and visual cue to one. Yoshi is actually going to be vulnerable after the down So Miles is so comfortable in punishing that. Swarius, again, I feel like he has all these right ideas. And yet, Miles is just always one step ahead and outmaneuvering him. So I want to say that stage control seems to be mattering a lot more because that up tilt while the opponent is in the corner is something that's worked out so many times yeah. in, this, in these games. 
So from here on out, if one of these players, especially the one at higher percent, is trapped in the corner, it could spell their death if they're not careful, if they take to the air without thinking about it first. And <gasps> no, as well as just going to be holding on to that double jump. It is imperative that as Yoshi, you keep that thing on you. Because as soon as it's gone, that's going to be a free edge guard for anybody. Look at this, I like this Miles. Kind of spacing outside, just barely! Swallows has a great idea. Miles has been hitting his shield and dashing back every single time. <gasps> oh, that time Swallows is going to be getting away with down being to the ledge. Miles not finding the punish on the landing quite yet. He runs right underneath the back here. That would have taken his stock. And the fact that Miles is still surviving throughout all of this, it speaks volumes. Finally, that back air going to be uh, setting up for the up air kill. And we now have one stock up piece as we are in game five between these two. Swallows, no double jump, needs to find a way to get back onto the stage. Miles catching him, but Swallows, I don't believe he ever got a chance to land. That is double jump. You saw it right before he hit the blast zone. His double jump came out. I think he bumped he the air dodge. Oh no. I thought Miles just perfectly timed that down tilt, but no, it was the buffered air dodge that did him. Yeah. And I